Greetings fellow geeks and welcome to another Geek Moment. My name is Chris Baird and today we're looking at the BeagleBone Black Edition from the BeagleBoard.org project. The Black is an upgrade to the original or white version. It features an increased clock speed at 1 GHz, the RAM has been doubled to 512 MB, and it features a new onboard bootable 2 gig eMMC. The BeagleBone Black also features a new onboard micro HDMI connector which outputs video and audio through the cable linked below to any digital display with an HDMI input. It still has the micro SD card slot, the USB host connector. The function of the USB device connector, however, has changed. On the original or white edition, it was connected through a USB hub to the TI core, to a USB to UART interface, and also to a JTAG interface. On the black edition, it's only connected straight to the TI Satara core. The UART interface has been moved to a six pin header which you can connect to your PC still through an FTDI smart cable, which is also linked below. The Black Edition also contains the same 10100 Ethernet and 5 volt power input jacks. So to get started with your BeagleBone Black, simply take the USB cable that came with the package, plug it into the BeagleBone, and attach it to your computer. Windows would automatically detect uh, drivers for the flash portion of it, the flash drive, and also the uh, virtual Ethernet device driver. On Windows XP, if it tries to install the Ethernet device driver first, you have to cancel that installation, allow it to install the flash drive, and then browse for the drivers for the Ethernet device, which are included in the flash drive. So now you run the bonedrv.exe for the 32-bit operating system, and follow the instructions, it will install the drivers for the other peripherals inside the BeagleBone. If it prompts you for Windows XP logo verification, just tell it to continue anyway. So once the flash drive is recognized, you can open the folder and start.htm will launch your web browser. And from here, it will verify that the BeagleBone is plugged in via USB, that the drivers are installed, and once it's verified both those, they'll turn green. Now that we see that they're green, we can click on step three, browse to the web server. From here, we can click on that IP. It will open up a new tab. And once it connects, this box will turn green. So once we're connected, we're gonna browse back to the first tab click on update the latest software. This link right here will open up the download page. We want to download the BeagleBone Black eMMC flasher. Once we verified this download has started, we're going to go back to the first tab again. Scroll down a little further, we need to download 7-zip and install it, which I already have. And we're also going to need to download and install ImageWriter for Windows. So right now, here's the, the download page is broken. You can browse to its home page. And from here, we can download the file. So we've downloaded our flash image. Uh, we've downloaded and extracted uh, disk imager, and 7-zip was already installed. So since 7-zip is installed, we're going to right-click on the image and extract the image. And we're going to launch the disk imager program. You don't have to install this. You just run the executable. Well, that was quick. Now that that's finished, we're going to browse to the extracted image using the Browse button. Load that. We're going to select the location of our micro SD card and hit Write. Are you sure? Yes. Now that we've flashed our image to the micro SD card, we're going to remove it from the SD card adapter and insert it into the micro SD slot on the BeagleBone. Now, during the flash process, we've heard of issues with people using USB to power their boards, so we're going to use an AC adapter. And when you apply power, you need to be holding down the boot select button. It takes a few seconds, so use your nail. And as soon as these blue LEDs here start to flash, you can release the button. Now we're flashing. This takes about 45 minutes, so we're going to cut ahead to the final product and we'll show you booting up. 45 minutes later now, and our image is done flashing, all four blue LEDs are solid. And now we're going to power the device down, hook up HDMI, a mouse and keyboard through a USB hub, and we'll power back up and show you what it looks like on screen. So now we've connected our mouse and keyboard through a USB hub to our host port on our BeagleBone. Uh, we've also connected the micro HDMI cable to our display, and we're going to go ahead and power it up using an AC adapter. The AC adapter is plugged into the same power strip as the display, and that's pretty important as we've heard of some issues with uh, grounding on the HDMI connector. So here we go. 
So now we've booted into a very basic Angstrom desktop. Uh, you have some in applications installed. Uh, you can install your own applications and develop them. Uh, there's a word processor, several web browsers, and um, we'd like to thank you for watching and to tune in next time for another Geek Moment video. Ha, 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 ha.